All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another 6 p.m. First Owner RTG Epi. I'm pretty damn hyped up for today's grind purely because of this really cool team. I'm loving my revamped look at FIFA. I've given up on just using the ultra sweat meta players to go rank one and rank two in champs uh, to get garbage rewards anyways. I already have to use the meta cycle players and elite rivals. Although even elite rivals this week, we're at five wins so far and we're using like original fun teams. Every time we get a good pack pull, we put them into the setup and build the squad differently. So everywhere in fun, even though EA doesn't want us to have fun with new teams and just wants us to use the meta broken players, we are... Yes, this is still a good team, but we're using different players. So I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed my rant video about managerial masterpiece. I'm really sad that there are already people in the comment section that don't even, the video was up for five minutes. It's a 16 minute video. And there's already people within five minutes of the video arguing and saying I'm wrong and have no idea what I'm talking about. And they didn't even spend the time to listen to the 15, 16 minute video. It, just the internet defined right there in the few comments that we've seen already early in that video. Nevertheless, I'm excited for today's 6 p.m. epi. I'm leaving that managerial masterpiece thought process. We have another um, really fun edited episode planned for you guys coming up here. We take this team into FUT Champs. I can't wait for you guys to see the gameplay. I feel like I'm playing some fucking... Oh, now the video's demonetized. Some sick FIFA. We're running this team in 4-1-2-1-2 for those of you guys that don't care. Uh, I'll show you real quick, but... You get to watch that in the 8 a.m. epi plus packs and, and again, a, a, a more edited view of the managerial masterpiece and whatnot. Um, but this is the team in game. So Cruyff and Di Natale up top is still very meta, don't get me wrong. Corona is a fantastic central cam, but the best part of this team so far, and again, I'll go into detail in the 8 a.m. epi that's coming up soon. Gosens, Bellingham, and Verratti are a dream midfield combo right now. I'm really enjoying them. And that Oxford, again, I'll give you guys my thoughts on him in the 8 a.m. epi, but so far, so good. Really, really enjoying the team, and at least it's got a bunch of original players. For today's 6 p.m. epi, let's see what we got from EA. We should get three added players into the setup, right? We also have got 40 packs to open, hoping again today we can get a new rule breaker. Um, did we get anything for... So we still don't have a rule breaker. It is now 6 p.m., and unless they've thrown in another milestone player, which would be boring AF. No, nothing. Wow. Okay. Did So last week they brought the rule breaker in on the Saturday, right? Team two is now available. Did they did they add um, three new players? Or is that now going back to Sunday? EA are consistently inconsistent. That's their only consistency this year is they are so inconsistent. So it looks like now, even though last week we got, oh no. No, no, they did. They did. Look, 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 look. Kudus is new. Klosti. Sway's going to lose his mind. Klosti got added in. Is there anyone else I'm missing? Klosti looks incredible. Cornet. Oh, my God. Burnley. I just had to watch the most horrible game of Burnley v. Chelsea. I'm so mad at Chelsea. We, I needed Chelsea as a Leeds fan to smash Burnley so they stay bottom of the, of the three. And they drew 1-1. Burnley are just the worst footballing team. They're so awful to watch. Anyways, um, they do have an amazing left back in the game. Kudus looks very good too. So we did get those three new players. Sorry, my apologies. It just didn't show up. Usually that shows up in the marketing here. Maybe it will actually. Oh, I spoiled it. That, oh, I was about to say that Pareo's dead, but is he though? 80, wait, hold on a sec. It says 87 pace here, but over here, Oh, no. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody relax. So, Pareo. Medium, medium. Bit dead. Uh, four, three star, four star. I do like that card, though. I mean, I really like that card. The pace boost is nice. The, the shooting boost is nice. That's a fun card, man. Um, I think we'll craft this Pareo this week as we get dupes. 83 rated and 85 rated. So yeah, we will. You do need a rule breaker in here again, which is a bit dead, but whatever. All good. Maybe we'll get, we'll wait till we get a dupe untradeable rule breaker or something like that to use. And then we need a team of the week that an 85 rated squad. So we will craft them. I'm going to craft all three of these as I told you guys I will. So do we get any type of upgrade packs or anything? It is. It, 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 that's no. So yeah, that usually comes tomorrow, right? Okay. So in terms of content, we got three new players. There they are. There you go. That that was the uh, imagery I was looking for right there. We got three new players to try and pack. 
Tomorrow might be upgrade packs or Monday. Again, EA are not very consistent in when they release stuff. So it might be tomorrow. It might be uh, uh, Sunday. Oxford, yeah, we got unlocked, of course. And then the player of the month. Great. So I think we just get to rip some packs. Yeah, that Cornet looks incredible as a uh, left back for the Prem. Definitely the best Prem left back. That's for sure. He looks mad good. Right. So let's see what these 40 gold two-player upgrade packs have in store for us, boys. I wanted to do 50 boys, but we ran out of time. So tomorrow for Sunday's epi, we should have at least a, a bare minimum of 50. So boards, gonna skip, nobody cares. Oh, no promos today. Did they not release any uh, any promo packs or anything at all today, boys? Nothing? Oh, wow, yeah, nothing. We do have preview packs though, so there's that, I suppose. Okay. New milestone though. Wait, is there a new milestone? Oh, hold on. Sorry. What, what did they did they actually add a new milestone? What's that about? Let's check it out. Co-op class. Oh yeah. Mega pack. Team up and play co-op to earn untradeable rewards. A mega pack. Seventy-five plus gold. Oh, that's kind of fun. I don't even know how co-op works this year. I haven't done it at all. That's cool. We might do that. Wait, was this there yesterday? It's not new? Okay. I, I had no idea about this though. Play 10 co-op matches. So that's in that friendlies where I, I don't have friends, right? I have Nep and I have Zwei, but they both live on the East Coast in the UK and stuff like that. Run the Fut Market lives in the UK. Chani, you know, Habes. Everybody lives so damn far away. Even my editor, Armalika, lives in bloody Greece with like one upload internet. So I can't really play with anybody. Um, but I think it matches you up with randoms, right? So that might be something we do this week if, if we need to find something to do or later tonight or, you know, when me and Netmaybe are done playing uh, COD, we could do that. All right. Sorry. I, I thought that was actually something new. All right. Let's back to the back to the packs. I don't have friends that play FIFA, which is why I think you don't need friends. Run the foot market is in the UK now. Cool. Uh, I never said that, but hey. People literally ignoring the fact that I said on the East and UK. Just ignoring that part entirely. All right. Uh, so Savage as a dupe. We can go craft. People hear whatever they want and nothing else. I know it's it's a bit wild. So I guess we're going to do a Lenormand. 82 rated and associate ad player. This should be nice and easy. Let's get this done real quick. 6 p.m. EPOP. I wasn't planning on packing a dupe like this, really. Um... Fire date. Okay. So then what I want to do is probably just go boringly with the untradeable La Liga players and see where that leaves us. We do need a Sociedad player. We, we, we will get that. I'm sure. Oh, wow. I don't... That's the only player I have? For real? Public co-op thing just glitches in. Oh, I might actually have to discard him, boys. I don't have any players. I'm not going to sit here and waste time. We'll discard him. What is he, 3K? Who cares? Bye. See you. That's actually crazy. I've got hardly any players and we pack a, a dupe. Yeah, we'll just yeet him. All good. No love lost there. Some men left behind. 85 or 86 would be a little bit more tempting to use. I could have put, them into the, put him into the Pareo maybe, but whatever. Don't care. Keep it rolling! Oh, it's an inform. Center mid? I don't even know who this is. Oh. So I've got every special version of Arnold now, boys. Let's go. The, the eight flares freak me out. I constantly think I'm actually going to get something good. Would love that Marquinhos. We desperately need him. I mean, hey, it's fodder. It's still a, it's still a, a, a slight W for sure. Makes the next SBC we need a bit cheaper. Hey, Arnold. I feel bad rooting against Newcastle because I really do like Newcastle, but I need them to stay below Leeds, so we're semi-cheering on Brighton right now, and it's making me sad. It is making me sad. I feel like a bit of a batch doing that. That Arnold is going to be good for getting to the chopper! Yeah! Get to the chopper! And put that cookie down! Ah. 
I know you thought I was Arnold. It's fine. Don't worry. Common, common mistake and confusion. Getting into elite might be a bad idea. Um, it's pretty toxic. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll be the first to admit, elite rivals is very toxic. It's just psychomaniac after psychomaniac, man. It's it it really batters your, at least in North America, it really batters your ego. It's tough, man. Especially when you don't want to use full meta players and you want to use different teams, but you lose like 80 to 90 percent of the games you go in, even with proper good teams. So then you start using like different teams, Miguel Layun in the squad and stuff like that. And bro, you lose like 98% of the games. You're lucky to get one or two wins a day out of 10 or 15. It's crazy. It's really, really hard. Like Division 2 and Division 1 are so leagues and eons easier. It's, it's insane. Again, I don't know if that's just a North America thing. I have a lot of people telling me that EU Elite is easy, uh, but... I don't know. At least for NA, man. My NA West matchmaking is insane, dude. If it's not that top 20 pro TikToker, it's like another two or three top 20 guys, and that's it. There's no there's no variety. All right, we'll store that. Oh, man, that would have been nice to get that guy when he was a rule breaker. He looked really good, too. All right, we skip. We skip, boys. Currently rank 2 D1. Honestly, it's just sweats. I'm telling you, man, and this is not to downplay your experience, but it's another planet right now um, in Elite. Because I used to think, oh, man, D2, D1, people are sweaty, and oh, my God. It's just so different in the Elite division. It really is, man. You need to be fully locked in for 90 minutes. If you lose concentration or get lazy with your style of play and your movement and your defending, you're like four goals down before you blink an eye. It's nuts. These kids go into their elite games like their lives depend on it. And fair play, right? It's it's basically the only competitive mode left. But it's so wild. 21% of all Man U home losses ever have come under Ollie. Is that a real stat? Good lord. The way they were playing with Man City. Man City went 2 nothing up and then didn't care. They just passed around for the rest of the game. And Man U just stood there watching them. That was a wild game to watch from a like Leeds fan perspective. It's crazy to see where where Ollie has the team. Oh, there you go, another rule breaker. That no longer is a rule breaker. I need Fonzie boys. We need him. Should we do another big dog giveaway if we do hit a Fonzie? Right now we're drawing the two hundred fifty dollar giveaway for the uh, for the Di Natale poll. Maybe another two hundred fifty dollar giveaway if we hit a Fonzie this week. Fonzie, is there someone else, boys, that we can put in there? Fonzie and I think Fonzie is just if we hit him. Maybe we do a five hundred dollar giveaway if we hit Fonzie. Why not? The Fonzie five hundred. Ooh, it has a nice little ring to it as well. Yeah, let's do a five hundred dollar. If I can get a Fonzie this week for our first owner grind, we'll do a um, we'll do a five hundred dollar giveaway. Okay. Fonzie's so fun even at striker. That's so cool, dude. I'm actually kind of jealous. Packed Kessie I'm buzzing. Come on. 21 packs remaining, boys. I don't think we're going to hit a rule breaker here, which is okay. That's okay. Can't hit a rule breaker every day. Oh my god. Back to back. Ish. Kind of. Not really. Alright, so that's 384s we've discarded. L. What did I just see there? St. Max got a clear chance. Davies is unreal. Bro, imagine how good Alfonso Davies. First, obviously at left back, he'll be great. Imagine him at left center mid or left DM in a 4-2-3-1 or 4-1-2-1-2. Bro, I'm in love with that Goosens in that exact position. He's so good there. Imagine Fonzie there. Oh my God. Fonzie plays like he's high, high work rates anyways. So the work rates being high, low, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Team of the Year Davies last year was the best card ever. Yeah, one of the best cards in the game for sure. Are alerts off again? Yeah, we're recording for YouTube, my guy. They're never on for YouTube. YouTube uh, gets really annoyed with the constant alert audio. I do have the alert audio muted anyways, but it, it, there's no point in having the alerts up when I'm focusing on packs and a YouTube epi and whatnot. Rule breaker, Ivory Coast, PSV. Yeah, the Kessie troll's gotta be real, right? 
across the board. Left mid, 3-5-2. Yeah, it doesn't mean... Yeah, wherever you want to use Fonzie. I bet you Fonzie is lights out at striker. I bet. I, I bet. Dude, I'd love to do a weekend league run with Fonzie and Canadian R9 up top. Bro, that would probably be so good still. Right? You give him the right chem style, maybe a maestro, maybe a, a finisher or something. I don't even know if he needs a finisher, but... Something to, to, to boost up the shooting a little bit more even? Nice, Carvajal, not bad. Atiba Hutchinson at cam? No, we'll probably use Johan at cam, really. Yeah, we'll swap. We'll, we'll put Fonzie up top. We'll put Goosens at, uh, at left back. It'll be perfectly fine. Be perfectly fine. Fonzie with a finisher is the best striker in the game. I'm saying we need him. If we can get him today, we'll run that next tomorrow for our final 10 games of champs. And we'll run him uh, for next week too. Even in the elite division. Why not? You have till 6 p.m. Thursday. I thought it was 6 p.m. Wednesday. Is it Thursday or Wednesday that Fonzie goes out of packs, boys? Wing back meta, but now it's striker. Fonzie and Cam. Fonzie all over the field, dude. The Canadian that, that card is gonna be the Canadian Messi, I'm telling you right now. In previous years, when Fonzie was actually an attacker, we used to always call him the Canadian Messi. Canadian Messi and the Canadian R9, boys. Up top this this uh, this week, if we can do it, or next week, I suppose. We have to actually pack him though. That's gonna be the uh, the toughest part. Tavio's a dupe, obviously. All right, well today's 6 p.m. Epi is a little bit dead, boys. It really is. 12 more packs to go. But uh, unfortunately, that seems to be about it. Just packs on packs on packs. I thought it was Wednesday. I, I thought the, the new rule breakers grow out on Wednesday too, which would mean then Friday there's room for a new promo. I'm pretty sure it is Wednesday, 6 p.m. UK. I'll have to double check myself. But Oh yeah, Chelsea let us down even for that Saul upgrade too. God's sakes, Chelsea. Or Lukaku fans, if you're lucky enough to have them. It is Thursday? Oh, you know what? We might not actually get a Friday promo then if it's on Thursday. Conan A is 300k. I mean, he came out 16 minutes ago, man. Of course he's going to be expensive. And he's the best prime left back and a special card. Yeah, he's going to be expensive. There's no doubt. But that should not be a surprise. There he is. Gosen's the beast. Eight more. Come on. Where's my Fonzie, EA? I totally deserve him. Oh, my God. Oh, French. Left mid. Oh, my Lord. How the hell do we do this every day? Oh, my God. Bamba. That's another insane W. <laughs> oh, imagine that was Fonzie. Oh, oh God. Yo. I hate it here again. <laughs> How the hell are we going to fit this guy into our team, man? I have no idea how we're going to fit him in, boys. I genuinely have no clue. Oh, my lord. We're going to have to rebuild the whole team. ay 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 I don't know. I have no idea how we fit him in. Unless we restructure the squad to a 4-2-3-1. Strong link with Mbappe is good. I know, but you guys saw our weekend league squad, right? Let's go, dude. Isn't that one of the best ones you can get? This Bamba looks cracked. He was extinct for a while. He's 200k. Okay, so he's not extinct anymore. But, dude, look at this card, man. High, high, four star, four star. Oh, my lord. All he needs is either. I'm going to give him a maestro. I'm legit going to give him a maestro. I think he will be nutty with a maestro. Only cool people pack Fonzie. Mav, did you pack Fonzie? Oh, for all right, $500 giveaway if we hit Fonzie. The French Mbappe. Let's go, boys. <laughs> oh, God, I love gold two-player packs. There's... No. Back to back? No way. I got... What the fucking hell? What is that? Are you serious? Back to back? How is that? <laughs> no, dude. I'm so... I love it here now. Come on, man. What is that about? Oh, for God's sakes, dude. Oh, I'm pissed. 
fully mudded. Well, I mean, is there going to be a dangler there? Surely not. Imagine. We'll catch you beauties on the flip side. Peace.